All right, folks, Jeremy Hazel here from 7seasonstudios.com. And if you like this lesson and you want a complete course on all of the 1.9 updates that came out, go ahead and check the link below where we give you some actionable ways to take all of the 1.9 updates in Affinity Designer and to do a really cool project with them. All right, folks, on behalf of 7 Season Studios, thank you so much for taking the journey with us, and we'll see you in the next one. All right, folks, welcome to the Affinity Designer 1.9 update. Now, this is one of those tools that they put in. I'm not quite sure why. It might make sense to some of your workflows, and if you like it, use it. I'm talking about the Contour tool. Now, the Contour tool is going to be over here in your tools, and if you don't have it, you go to View, Customize Tools, and you can find it here, and you just drag it over there. So if yours looks a little different than mine, find the contour tool and here it is. Now, the way that I show contour, the way that I explain it, it's fake stroke, okay? So what the contour tool is gonna do, when you click on it, now let's select a layer first here. So I've got this very simple text layer. When you click on the contour tool, you're going to be presented with a different context toolbar. So up here. Now, contour, I'm going to show you how this works, takes your stroke and kind of creates a stroke on the outside that is equally spaced around the entire thing. I achieve the same result largely by just aligning the stroke to the outside of the shape. But if this makes sense to you and it's a little quicker, go ahead and do it. Now, there's different types of contour. You can have a round one, which is what we've got now. You can have a square one if you have some squares, or you can have a bevel. Now notice here, I'm gonna pull your attention to this level C right here because that's a point, right? Let's go ahead and zoom in. And you see how that C is cut off? If I come back to my contour and I go back to round, see how it rounds out this corner. You can change the miters if you've got a very blocky style text. In this text, it really doesn't support it, so four will be okay. And you can change the type of contour cap if you so wish. Again, with the text I have, it doesn't really support that. The piece that I find kind of valuable is the contour fill. So I'm gonna move out of here. I'm gonna come back to my contour tool and now notice the fill you can set it to automatically close the contour, which means the black inside and the black contour are closed together. You can force open, which then gives you this outlined look, or you can force it closed, which brings you back. For a lot of my work, I just go ahead and I keep it open. Now, let me show you what you could theoretically do with this. I'm just gonna go back to my layers panel here and I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna call this red. So I'm gonna change the color of this upper layer. If I go to red and I come to my contour tool and I set it back to zero points, so no stroke, notice that I can't see the difference until I change it to red. And because the layer behind it is here, you now have a nice black stroke on the outside of your red. Now, you see why I kind of mentioned it as being artificial stroke? For me, it really doesn't change a lot, but if you like the tool, use it. Now, here's a thing you need to understand about it. I'm gonna delete this out. We're gonna go back to here. Notice how I've been flipping in and out of the contour tool, and it's been adjustable. So not only can I go to zero, but I can go negative, and I can put the contour inside. So again, fake stroke. But let's say that I have 9.4 pixels, just an example, and I want to keep this. So lock it in, make it not adjustable anymore. If you see this button here, bake appearance, that will solidify the contour and it will not be modifiable any longer. Now watch what happens to the layer. Over here, I'm highlighting the fact this is a text layer, right? 
And when you convert a text layer to curves, what happens? It becomes a series of shapes, right, of curves. So if I grab the contour layer and I bake in this appearance, watch the layer that's blue. Boom, it changes to a group. And now each one of these letters is now its own monster, complete with the ability to change the fill of the contour and all of that jazz. Okay, so for some people to do a lot of text work and like this, this works for me. This was one of those tools of just because you can doesn't mean you should. All right, folks, have a good one. We'll see you in the next one.